if you're a small business owner, you need to be reading. In fact, this is like a non-negotiable. And if you don't know where to start, I have the five best books for every small business owner that needs to read. So let's get started. All right, I got the books and let's discuss why books are basically the gateways to success for all small business owners. Although I'm going to be going over the five best books for small business owners such as yourself, I have a whole list of books that I have read that have really made me a lot of money in my business. So feel free to click the link down below to view all the books that I recommend to all of my clients. But for now, let's discuss the five books that I recommend just for you as a business owner. So the first book I recommend for all business owners is The Go-Giver. The Go-Giver is new to my collection. I'm going to give you a little bit about what the book is and then just provide you some of my takeaways from the book. The Go-Giver is a fable about a man named John who wants stratospheric success and looks to talk to a famous consultant about creating that success within his career. This takes you on a journey of how to replicate stratospheric success through a short story which I thought was so phenomenal like wow who knew that having success could have a really nice storyline and this book is so different by the way they demonstrate how to build success in your business with the go-giver there are five laws to help build stratospheric success in your business the first law is the law of value this law focuses on delivering value to the people within your community as a small business owner the second law is the law of compensation this is basically saying the number of people you serve it correlates to the number of income your business or your world makes the third law is the law of influence basically how do you focus on other people's needs first and interests and then cultivate that into your business the fourth law is the law of authenticity the most valuable gift you can share with your clients is yourself and it really holds true when it comes to building a small business and last but not least the fifth law is the law of receptivity basically in order to give effectively you have to be ready to receive and if you're not ready to receive you probably won't hit that success in your business this book has changed the way I do business this book basically pivoted my entire business and how I show up for entrepreneurs like yourself. This book emphasizes of putting other people's needs first and delivering the value for your community, whether it's on social media, whether it's through an email list, or whether it's through a YouTube channel like this one that you're watching. I recommend this book to now all of my clients, even though I just found it this year. The one thing I wanna emphasize about The Go-Giver is really about being you and delivering the value to your community. Whether that is clients or the people who follow you on your social media, Media, it really makes a difference in how you show up for your small business. Bob Berg and John David Mann wrote other books as well and I'm gonna show you the page right here. So these are the books, the additional books that they wrote and I'm going to be reading The Go-Giver Sells More next. So if you want to read with me, be sure to click the link down below, purchase the book, first read this one and then go get the second one and let's read it together. Let's accomplish this goal. All right, so we did the first one. Now let's talk about the next book. So the next book is The Big Leap by Gay Hendricks. This book is so good. <laughs> I cannot recommend this enough to not just my small business owners. I would recommend this book to anybody in life who's really trying to change their life for the better and take that big leap into something different that's truly unknown because this will make it easier to understand what might come up as you transcend. So in The Big Leap, Gay Hendricks talks about how we prevent ourselves from actually being happy due to subconscious limitations because we have a certain level of where we actually allow ourselves to be happy. Crazy. I know. In this book, you'll also learn about how Gay Hendricks explains how to overcome your subconscious beliefs along with transcending from your zone of excellence to your zone of genius. And speaking of zones, there are actually four zones, things that you're good and aren't good at that he mentions in the book. 
So the first zone is the zone of incompetence. It's basically self-explanatory. You're not good at a task. <laughs> so think of something that you are horrible in and this is usually your zone of incompetence. You're just not that good at it. The next zone, which is the zone of competence, this zone just basically says that you're okay at doing the task. This is usually not something that you get praised upon, but you can do it. It's just that you're not good at it. The third zone is your zone of excellence. Now, this is the most dangerous zone there is, and I will tell you why in a second, but this is usually where people find their careers. This is where you usually get praised the most for doing what you wanted, right? This is the people who go to college, become doctors and lawyers, they make a lot of money, and their parents are so proud of them, and they shout their names to the roof all over their Facebook social media and saying, oh my gosh, my son, my daughter, they're this, they're that. <laughs> And the last zone, which is where I want you to be as a business owner, is the zone of genius. This is the best thing you can do in your life. This is where you can manifest and create unbelievable gifts to the world and it comes so easy and it's so simple for you to do, you don't even know that it's a gift. That's where your zone of genius is. When it comes to many CEOs, just like you and I, there's a lot of self-sabotaging that comes into play when it comes to building and running along with scaling and growing your small business. This has a lot to do with fear that comes up along your journey. For example, let's say for instance, you want to achieve something within your small business. Maybe it's hitting your first six figures or maybe it's even hitting your first seven figures. So Gay Hendricks actually says that we hit our upper limits as we transcend from our zone of excellence to our zone of genius. And usually these upper limits look like maybe you get sick right before you know the biggest business break that you have or maybe you have car trouble or you get into an accident or your family starts falling apart or there's drama that you didn't want and now you have or even worse death all of that can be in existence into hitting an upper limit you're going to hit some setbacks and challenges that come along with your journey and this book really does explain what's going on and why you're having so many challenges now don't get me wrong as a ceo you and i both know there are going to be challenges they're going to be setbacks they're going to be things that get in our way however when it comes down to your business and your journey you want to recognize what's truly going on so you continue to push through because usually the biggest blessings are on the other side the next book on my list that i recommend for all business owners such as yourself is Amanda Francis rich as <laughs> Amanda Francis is someone who I wish I could be <laughs> because she demands for people to f have a fulfilling empowering life and your true desires in your heart can be put out there into the world and and turn into your own reality she also offers a different way of looking at money because most of the time people have very limiting beliefs around it and she really demands you to take a different look and perspective about it um another thing that amanda francis does in this book is that she empowers you to have a financial reality that's really available for everyone especially as business owners a lot of what was taught especially in religious organizations they tend to attribute limiting beliefs around money and that money is the root of all evil when in actuality money just expands who you truly are and this book really helps you to understand that so let's talk about my takeaways from the book after reading it so one thing's for sure this is not for the faint of hearts <laughs> In fact, knowing that this book right here, this title, uh, there's a lot of that going on in this book. So if you don't do well with cursing, I would say this is probably not a good book for you. However, if we can just disregard that she does curse and just really understand the values and lessons that she's trying to teach about money, it's a really powerful move. This was one of the first books that helped me make a lot of money in my business because she basically gives permission for you to have it all a lot of people keep themselves small especially my business owners and we think that success will take forever to come into our world especially financial success and she's just like no you can have it whenever you want and you can have it now if you truly believe that you can 
because God allows us to do so. We co-create with him and the universe and we can have an abundance in our reality based on our own beliefs. And this book helps you go through that. One thing I love about the book is that after pretty much every chapter, there is a little homework to do to help with the mindset of understanding how to, you know, combat the limiting beliefs that keep you small. And this is really cool because I think within each chapter and you're diving into a little bit more of that mindset shift, it does help to change your beliefs about money. When she really dives into understanding that money just expands who you are. This was like the mind blowing thing. Everyone thinks that money changes people and it's not really the thing, right? Money expands who people are. And the only reason why it looks like people are changing is because it's been there and you just didn't see it. Same holds true that if you are a good person, when you get more money, that expansion will be of you as a good person. However, if there's people around you who are selfish and conniving and greedy, your money will expand who they are also in your world, right? Because they'll blame you for being selfish and they'll blame you for being greedy when it's really a projection of oneself. When you do start to make a lot of money in your business, things like this will happen in your circle and your community of family and friends. The next book that I have to recommend for you, which I recommend for all business owners to own, is called the inner work and i will go into what this book is about first and i will tell you the reason why i recommend it for small business owners just like yourself so the inner work is exactly how it sounds it takes you on a journey to understanding the depths of your subconscious beliefs and how to change them in order to be fulfilled and happy. This helps you to unlock your full potential in life and it sheds light on the limiting beliefs you have and what it takes to transcend those beliefs. Most people, especially CEOs, have a lot of suffering in their lives or have had a lot of suffering in their lives and they just generally wanna be free and they wanna feel happy. So there was a podcast that I listened to about someone who studies the subconscious belief and he said the first seven years of a child's life is when when the subconscious beliefs are developed and from seven on or eight and on your life and experiences pan out those beliefs that were developed from zero to seven and I was just like wow that's so amazing to know that the subconscious beliefs are also being developed along the way and then from then on your life just kind of pans out into those beliefs makes total sense as to why certain things that hold you back and keep you small as an entrepreneur attribute to what you learn from the ages zero to seven I actually saw the couple on TikTok. I was scrolling through TikTok and I saw them on my For You page and I ended up following them because they were talking about healing the subconscious, self-sabotage, and all of those fears that play into the role of keeping us small. So then I stepped into, you know, they started promoting their book. They actually wrote this book and I read it. And when I tell you, it was such an eye-opening experience to understand and be self-aware of who you are. Now, the reason why I recommend the inner book, it is not a business book. It is not even close to being a business book. But I will tell you this, running a business as a CEO, you know that having your business is the fastest way to get to know who you are. In fact, all of the fears and limitations that you put on yourself is the reason why you don't achieve success because it's your subconscious beliefs and they're just expanded out into your business and then it creates that belief that it is true. So if you feel like you can't make $20,000 months or $100,000 months, then that's exactly what's going on in your subconscious. You believe it's so hard to obtain and that's why it hasn't achieved in your business. Well, understanding the inner selves and inner depths of your subconscious, this book helps you to understand that. Where are you on this level? Because when we combat all of those limiting beliefs that keep us small, get to know yourself, through this book because it's so good and it will help you to understand and be more self-aware of who you are as an entrepreneur and how that contributes to your business. The next book on the list is the one that everybody recommends, but I had to put this on the list because this was a game changer. It is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Have you read this book? If you have, please like this video. If you haven't, please like this video and click the link down below to go get it and support my channel. All right, 
Think and Grow Rich. I think most people have heard of this book, but I don't think a lot of small business owners have read this book. This is a game changer. And to be honest, if you want to see sudden changes in your business right away, this book. Now, this book is a hard read. I will say that it's a little boring. <laughs> because it was written like in the 1930s. I know they've done multiple different editions of it, but it is a hard read. Uh, not because it, you can't understand it, it's just because it takes a long time to get to the point. <laughs> That's just my honest opinion. Some people love it. So if you don't like reading, I would recommend just listening to the book versus reading. But here's what the book is about. So Napoleon Hill ended up studying over 500 millionaires and I believe multi-millionaires to see what the secret was when it came to their success. And he actually condensed this to the laws of success and understanding how to contribute to your world and get the same type of success as these millionaires. Here's my opinion about this beautiful book, Finger Grow Rich. I would say this contributes to one of the universal laws, which is the law of attraction. Like I said before, it's a pretty boring read, but it's probably one of the most powerful books to have in your library or in your phone or wherever you're going to do with it. I want to give you a little behind the scenes of something I've never shared before on my channel when it came to when I first encountered this book and what ended up happening within the first week. So here's some clips from that time to find out what happened. To tell you guys how my day went. First of all, I'm leaving Chipotle, it's raining. I'm like, dang, it's raining, but it's just drizzling. So I'm like, all right, thank God it's not pouring. So I run to my car and boom, it starts pouring as soon as I put it in drive. I was like, oh, all right, let me test my luck. So I'm listening to this book about the law of attraction and it's raining, sorry, so I got my hoodie on. And it's like, you know, you need to visualize and you know, you need to do all these things. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna visualize the rain to stop because I had a lot to take over. So I get to the house and I'm like, all right, once I park, let it be at least drizzling. You know what happened, right? It was drizzling. I have magical powers. So I tested it one more time. So I was like, all right, if it could stop. And it stopped. And then literally the sun came out. I started crying. So I was like, this is the day I found out that I have magical powers. This law of attraction is working and I'm telling you, I'm I'm about to make it, guys. And then one more thing happened, or two more things. So then we're my fiance wants to watch power. And I'm like, no, I wanna wait till later. And so I wave my finger at it and I'm like, wait later. And the stars channel didn't work. I was like, oh, I got powers. And then I'm walking to it's 7-Eleven, and I guess like, can you get me a cherry Slurpee? I stand in line. The girl looks at me. The manager looks at me again. I was like, oh, just a, just a, I see. You're good to go. Today is my day. Actually, this is about to be my life. I'm about to document everything. I'm telling y'all right now, this book that y'all need to, y'all need to be reading. There's something happening. Magical things. And it's only day five, I think. I don't even know what day it is. I don't know if it's day four or five. I get confused, but I'll keep track. But seriously, like for real, only a few days in and all this good things happening. Like, come on. Y'all need to read that book. I'm, I'm going to link that book down below. Better read it. I'm telling you, good things are happening. It's drizzling. It was just raining and it's drizzling. Come on, y'all. Good things about to happen. Cheers to that. <laughs> Do I think this is gonna happen with everybody? No. Do I think I actually changed the weather? I don't know, I've done it before. <laughs> However, it just contributes to how powerful this book is and how powerful your subconscious mind is. It's the reason why there was so little wins that were coming in. And in fact, I didn't document this um, towards the end of the clips, but I had gotten a letter for the exact same amount of money I was trying to attract, which was about $68,000 to the T, like to the number, I think it was like $68,000. No, it was like $126,000. And I chose those numbers for a specific reason. And when I got this letter and it said the exact same amount that I was going to be forgiven of, when it came down to my student loan debt, I couldn't believe it because 
I thought this was a fraud. And then my husband or my fiance at the time was like, oh, you gotta be careful of these scammers. So I just doubt it and I threw it away. Do I honestly think I should have went even further and just dove into like, what was this that was coming up? Yes, I do regret not moving for further into understanding what's going on but i will tell you this is not because i want to keep secrets from my husband or you should keep secrets from your loved one but keep your success to yourself when you start attracting things into your life and they make no logical sense the human mind can't comprehend all of that so it will create a narrative as to why this happened and most of the time it's not true you did it by following these rules so take it how you want i will say that's one of my favorite books it's the scariest book i ever read because <laughs> it changed my reality so quickly in fact i haven't looked at it since and i really need to reread it and start putting these strategies into place one of the biggest mistakes i made was just assuming that i knew it all there's still so much knowledge that i don't know and all the books that are behind me and all the books that i've mentioned are nowhere near the amount of knowledge that is available for you but i do have books that really attribute to my own success and if you want the same kind of success when it comes to monetary gains for your small business feel free to click the link down below it's in my amazon shop it's available for you and i'm always reading a book and adding it to that amazon shop so that way you have access to all the books that i read that have really changed the game for my small business just remember, 1% change can literally change your entire business. If you're interested in hearing more about how I help CEOs just like you, feel free to watch this video right here to continue your success within your small business. Otherwise, I hope you continue designing your dreams to reality and I'll catch you in this video. Bye!